Welcome to 3D.sk. On this site you can find thousands of images of whatever you need. From male and female characters, to costumes, to animals. We also have 3D scans, textures, texture maps, street photo reference, studio photo reference, and many more. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to set up reference inside ZBrush. I'll be using the images from a previous tutorial that we used when setting up reference inside Photoshop. The first step is to create a Z-sphere from the brush menu. Left click dragging out and then holding shift to align it to the view. And then click edit or T. Now we can see we have a simple Z-sphere. First important step whenever creating a Z-sphere is to press X to turn on symmetry. The next step is we need to get our reference in. So go to the draw panel. Turn on floor, X, Y, and Z. And as you can see, I already have my reference set up. The first step is to go to draw, and you have to go to front and back. Z map one is front, Z map two is back, and then left and right here. This is left. So going back to front and back, you double click on it. Go import and choose front. Then it will load in the screen. It may be flipped, as you can see on my image, it is flipped. So you can use the rotate tool to rotate it back to where you want it. You can also use flip to flip it onto the other side. You can use switch to switch the maps from front to back. You can also adjust the scale, horizontal offset, and vertical offset, and even the angle. Now for the back view, you do the exact same thing, and for the left view. Coming out of the draw panel, you can see that I can see through my image. If you cannot, you can go back to the draw panel and use fill mode. As you can see, fill mode 1, fill mode 2, and fill mode 3. You want fill mode 3 for this. So starting off with this, we're just going to create the legs today. If we scale down. Using the move tools, and the edit tools, and the scale tools. Just going to position this around the belly button. I'm going to use the draw tool. Click here by left clicking and dragging out and then holding shift to make it the exact same size. Now I'm going to drag it to the greater trochanter and this is the top of the femur. So we're going to drag it out to there and in the side view which is about here. I'm going to move this up a little bit so we can get it aligned with the rest of the hip area. I'm going to go back to our draw tool Left click and drag, hold shift, go back to the side view and move this down. You're going to move it to about here. Try and get it aligned with the outside. Use the draw tool again. Move it down to the heel. Just a case of using the move tools and the scale tool and switching between them. Now I'm going to scale it down. In a little bit. Now we can use the draw tool to create another Z sphere in the center. And we can now move this around. With this, I'm going to scale. I'm also going to scale this one. Yeah. Remember to always switch over to the side view to readjust.
and the back view. You can also do the same with the bottom of the leg. Use the move tool again. Not all views will line up exactly every time, so perfection isn't the key. The key is getting it as close as possible. The references. You can fidget as much as you like with this, and eventually you'll get something that you're happy with. I'm gonna go about here. And I'm going to say I'm fairly happy with that for the legs. And turn off floor, and whenever you're happy, go into Adaptive Skin and Preview. See, it's created a topological mesh for us. Now, I do not like turning Dynamesh on. I prefer turning Dynamesh off and going into that later when I want to. Now you can turn up the density. I'm going to turn it up to 3. Then we can go back to Adaptive Skin and we can go and make Adaptive Skin. We'll append the new Adaptive Skin which is here. And now we have our mesh. You can tell it's not the Z-Sphere version because you will not have adaptive skin down here. So in geometry, you'll see you'll have three subdivisions. Now you can use this mesh to further edit it. So now I'll switch to my tablet and using the move tool, which I can get to by pressing B, M, then V. Using space to turn up my draw size, I can now use my tablet to just make tiny adjustments to where I need them. You notice I'm focusing on one side, this down here, this out a little bit here. You can also use a smooth tool by holding the shift key. You can see we've created two pairs of legs. Now the key with this is, is to create more z-spheres of the different parts of the body and merge them together. So I'll show you how to do that quickly. So I'm going to append sphere 3D. Switch to it. Turn on symmetry, as always. Scale it down. Move it to around the hip area. By the way, how I'm switching views and aligning it is left click dragging somewhere off the model and then holding shift to align it to a view. I'm going to scale this down. I'm just trying to create like a hip area. I'm going to go to my edit tool again. Turn off floor for a sec. And as you can see, you can kind of fill that gap in that we have that we don't really like that much. Start to add some more flesh to it. My opinion, making your model in multiple parts is much better than making it all at once. Now what we can do, if we wanted to attach these two, I would just go merge down. Now that we've got these two merged, we can now go Dynamesh, and they're Dynamesh together now. Move. We can make some adjustments. 
the clay build up brush which is C sorry B C B Here we can make small edits C we still use the reference BDS, which is brush damp standard. Create a little bit of a knee there. And as you can see, we can get a good start to our legs. So you can carry on doing this for all the parts of the body until you have a complete body. In the next tutorial, we will discuss how to do the upper body, including the rib cage, the deltoids, the trapezius, the sternocleidomastoid, and the neck. We'll be creating them using standard primitives and going from there. See you in the next tutorial. Welcome to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with feedback and suggestions below, and you can also comment on what you'd like to see us do in the future. Thank you, and goodbye.